In order to add the windows, the steps are the same. We go to the view that we have the windows. We change our style to X-ray. If you want, you can use the back edge too. In this one, you can see the line too, and maybe it's less distracting. Then I use the measuring tape, grab one of the vertical line, and add it at the start and end of the window. Uh, for some people, it's easier to go ahead and you know add all the vertical lines, then add the horizontal line, and then just you know make the window opening. So let's do the first one. See in this one, I just add all the vertical line, then I go and check my window height, see 5 feet 6 from the floor and 2 feet window height. So I go back here, now I grab the bottom of the wall in blue direction, 5 feet 6 enter and the window opening is 2 feet. Then I use rectangle and I add this to rectangle and I just go ahead and delete the guideline, use push pull tool, click here, when you see on face, you click. This is one way. The other way is if you know you don't want to go around and add all the guidelines, you just do the one of them. And this is good when you have many windows that they have the same size. So you add one of them, then you draw a window outline, select the surface. Instead of copy and paste, because if I copy and paste the control C, and if I want to paste it, see, I don't have uh, the right place to you know place it. I don't know where should I place this one here Okay In this case instead of copy and paste I just use copy. I just use move and Press ctrl to copy then I grab the start point of this window and I copied ctrl to start point of this window. If you know they are the same size, we leave it like that. If this one it's a little bit uh, you know longer or shorter, you just go to move, grab this corner, lock it to the right direction, in this case it's red, and show the size that you want. For sure you have the you know the mark of the window in your plan. So easily you can just find it and click there. The third option, what I can do, I can just add another rectangle from the floor to the bottom of the window. This gives me the right place on the plan to place the window anywhere. Then I select this one, press shift select the other one, control C, and now I can easily control V here and in this case even if I have some window on the other side I can do the same thing control V and for example I don't know I don't have anything here but for example it's here I place it then I can easily delete these two lines and again if I just have to modify it a little bit I can easily select that one select the right base point actually I guess the best base point is here I select go to move select here then you have to lock it to the right direction and find your you know window on your plan and just click you know Okay, so let's just 
do it this way. I grab this, move, I click here, control, and I can move it here. Then I change my style, push pull tool, grab this one, on face, double click, I go here, edit, and I delete guides. Now that I have my openings, the next step is making a group. Please make sure you have all your opening, okay? When I have all the openings, windows, door, closet door, any opening that I have, then I have to make a group. Remember, if you don't make a group, if something happened, it's it would be really hard to modify it. You know, for example, again, if you don't get to the habit of making group, this problem would happen a lot. For example, you're placing, I don't know, a furniture at the corner of your room. Then later on, you want to move it and see everything stuck together. Or when you're adding the windows, okay, when you're adding the window, you're adding the door frame, anything that you want to add, it would stick to your, you know, opening, and it's it's a nightmare to modify it. Okay, so make sure that when you have all your opening, triple click and select everything. Okay, now I have my walls and also I have my floor. But I don't want my floor to be in the same group. I press shift and remove my floor from my selection then I right click and make a group when you make a group of your wall you cannot add any opening unless if you go inside it happened hundred times students they forgot to add an opening then they draw the rectangle and they complain that it's not working because this is a group and you cannot modify your group unless you go inside the group. If you want to modify anything on this group, you have to double click, go inside the group, and I don't know, find the place, the opening that you want, and see now, this face is part of that one. I can easily, you know, make it. If it's here, when I'm inside the group, I add it and I can easily, you know, use push pull tool. And let's see here, go to edge and see, I can easily make the opening. But if you are not inside the group, you cannot modify it. When I have all walls inside the group, I make a group of my floor too okay just in case that nothing uh, you know stick to them uh, you select them one at the time select this one press control select another one if you have many room you just go around while you're pressing control you select all of them then right click and make a group